So HD1 started when Dr. Ozaki and some of the parents got together and decided they needed a weekend together away from the hospital. It's a family camp, so the camp is for the parents, the child with a hand difference, as well as the siblings. Each of those entities has struggles that they deal with, from the parents who don't know what their kid's going to grow up and be like, to the siblings who know that they have a, a brother or a sister that's a little bit different, to the child who's maybe never seen another child just like them. It might be their first time to go somewhere and be like, you mean there's someone else with a hand difference besides me? And just to see that spark in their light is what's so amazing about it. The camp is a weekend, a Friday night through a Sunday lunch, and it's a, just a time for the families to be together and hang out with other families. And it's also a time for kids to see older kids that have a hand difference. We bring a lot of counselors that have a hand difference, and so it's kind of a glimpse into the future for these families and kids to be able to see another adult with a hand difference. My favorite part of HD1 is definitely the parent sessions. The first breakout session for parents is, is for just the parents and they get to know one another, uh, kind of discuss some challenges, maybe some um, exciting things that their child has accomplished that year. And the second parent session is a panel of junior counselors and counselors that all have a hand difference and they sit on a panel and let the parents ask some questions they can see that their child is going to be okay, that their kiddo can answer these questions and that they can play whatever sport they want to play. They can do anything that they would choose to. So going to camp and just leaving with that, my child's going to be great, is just invaluable to the families. So HD2 started in 2002 with 10 kids and it's evolved to today, where now we take almost 40 kids to a week-long camp. The main goals of HD2 is really just to encourage self-esteem. These are teenagers. When you are 14 to 17 years old, you're worried about, am I gonna have somebody that wants to date me because of my hand? Am I going to be able to do the career that I wanna do because of my hand? What are job interviews gonna be like? And we really want to instill in these kids during their informative high school years that they can do whatever they want and they will not be limited, and to not take on that limitation on their own. Since it's a week-long camp, we're able to do a lot more. We do rock wall, um, zip line, we do lots of high rope elements as well as low rope elements. We have a swimming pool that they get to swim in every day. We have a theater that they get to go to at night. We watch movies. We do a talent show on the last night. <laughs> the kids that have gone to HD2 tell me at the end of camp that this camp really changed their life. From a child who's just been once to a child who's been several years in a row, um, it affects them the same way. They leave more confident, more self-assured. They leave knowing that they can do whatever they set their mind to, and that just fills my heart. HD 1.5 is our camp that we started Several years ago when we realized that there was a need for the middle school kiddos, we had this great camp for little kids and we had this wonderful camp for teenagers. And then we realized that there was this middle school phase, the age 10 to 13 year olds, we realized we were kind of missing. So at HD 1.5, we have a lot of different activities. We have a high ropes course with a zip line and a climbing wall. We have a low ropes course where they work together in teams to kind of work through a certain element. Uh, we have a lot of team building activities and then of course a lot of fun. We also give the girls and the boys some time to kind of just be with each other. So we have a girl time and a guy time and the guys get to go play video games together and, and kind of talk side by side about what's going on at home and, and um, maybe some challenges that they might have with their hand difference and then the girls get to have like a primp party with nails and hair, um, snacks of course, and then we also have like a, a circle time where they can just really share about challenges that they're facing or successes that they've had throughout the year and it's just a really good time to let these girls and guys connect with one another. We don't sit around a bonfire and talk about our hand differences, that's not the point. The point is to just be around other kids that have hand differences. These kids come in and they're just, I don't want to be here, I'm scared, and within 72 hours they don't want to leave, they have new best friends, they've learned to put their hair in a ponytail, and they can't imagine what it was like without camp. You did it. That's awesome. You see, you just 
needed some help and encouragement. You got it. We get tons of really great feedback from campers and parents. Um, a lot of parents have um, come up to me and said, what did you do with my kid? Like, this is a completely different kid that I dropped off at camp two days ago. And um, it's true, a lot of things happen throughout that weekend. And I think the biggest thing is that they just feel okay with themselves. A lot of times they come to camp and they feel different and they leave camp feeling special and accepted. It just empowers their life and it changes their life for the better um, every single time, every single kid. We want these kids to be defined by who they are on the inside versus what they look like on the outside. And I think camp accomplishes that in so many ways.